This is hydrogen tap. Another look at the focus cell. A little closer view. I've had a number of emails asking to see that. You can see the changes I've made. This now has, I've upped it to 16 plates. You can see there are no screws going through it, as in the other Aaron cells. You can see the plate that goes through all of them. Gives you the same configuration. That's positive, negative, positive, negative, and the hanger, which goes to the top of the cell. Pretty sturdy looking. I still have some modifications to go on here, but everything is looking great as far as I'm concerned. Again, this is going to be positive, negative, positive, negative. And remember, this does not replace the other Aaron cells. The other cells are made for experimenting and for testing, lab testing. This cell will be closed. You will not be able to make any changes on it. The other cells give you the opportunity to make the changes in the plates, positive, negative. You can make more than one positive plate. Uh, on some of the cells you can actually change and make them into neutral plates. The basic thing on the other cells is that it enables you to make your own configuration instead of being stuck with one configuration. The focus cell does not give you that opportunity at all. This is a straight cell and this will be the one that's going in my car which I'm going to be doing some trials very shortly. Right now I'm taking the information off the odometer and trying to get a, an exact mileage or close mileage so I can start working with it. This is the top of the cell. The focus has a unique top to it in which the cell itself goes across these two electrodes and the third electro will go in common with one of these, which will give you the reading of whether the water temperature is correct, water, <laughs> whether the water height is correct. And you can see that here, the way the plate is. This plate here reaches down, touches the water or electrolyte, and tells you when to fill it up. Your two ports, one of these ports is going to be a fill port, the other port is the out port. The other thing this cell has or will have that the other Aaron cell don't have, and that is all these pieces will be sealed together. The bottom on this one is already sealed, and the top will be sealed as well. The back of the top you can see how the cell fits on it. Fits rather nice. And you can see the straps that go all the way to the bottom of each plate. Connection positive and negative go from one plate to the other. So it fits like so. This is the mesh, this is the water sensor. These are all stainless steel. And this sensor here is what goes in common with one of these. 
So basically, the cell looks like this. And if you look down in here, you can see it fits nice and neat. One of the other differences on this cell is there are no fittings on the tube at all. tube has no ports. All the ports are fed in from the top. To give you a better view of this, I've been working on this clear plastic display case system so I can show the cell a lot better. It does not come or is not going to be put in this plastic, clear plastic. This is just strictly so you can see the inside of the cell. You can see how it works. And if you look real close, one thing you'll notice is that the cell does not touch the bottom. It's about three-eighths from the bottom. You can see it there. There's a good shot of it. And you can follow it up to the top. There's a good shot. So the main modification are these straps that go across. You can see them. They take the place of the screws that were going in there. And the other modification is the way the side straps go to the top of the cell casing. You can see how it fits in there. Plus and minus. Positive and negative. All in all, it's a pretty neat package. We've got a few more small modifications to do on it and then it's going to get sealed up and then we're going to start doing some testing with the output start measuring the output on this as I've been promising while this is going on I am doing road tests on my Honda right now to get the mileage down and then we're going to see what a difference I'm also going to be modifying the oxygen sensor in the car as well to finish this test off hydrogen levels in this lab are getting a little high here what you can see is the two electrodes here the common if you look in the back you can see the other one. These are the two that positive and negative that are hooked to the cell itself, the plates. This is for that light that you see there which tests if there's enough water in here. Watch when I lift the cell out. You can see that works really nice. So what I've got is a common common electrode to this one. This is the one that we've got a relay to.